and Liv. And today we're going to be showing guys our night routine or our little get unready with us. Yeah, kind of like our wind down, I guess, and getting ready for like bed and things like that. We wanted to do this video for a while, but we kept yeah. holding it off and avoiding filming it because we were like, oh, too repetitive. Like, they're not going to want to see it. But yeah, we're going to film it. There's a lot of stuff that we could show you guys that isn't in other videos. And you know what? We're in the middle of a pandemic, so our creative juices are not flowing as good as they would normally flow. So yeah, it's currently like 5 p.m. today. Quite a busy content day for TikTok. It honestly and sounds like so dramatic. It sounds really dramatic, but like <laughs> it is exhausting. <laughs> like it sounds really dramatic because I know there's people out there that like you know have a much harder life. But like yeah, I'm I am exhausted though because it's been tough. Like it's like cardio doing these dances, you know. Like anyways, anyways um, and it's a mess out there. Like whenever we're filming content or we're doing work at home, like we just chuck things everywhere. It's literally a mess. Olivia's gonna run to the shops and get a few little staple groceries and yes, things like that we, for like dinner. No, not just for dinner. And, we have oh. no groceries in our house, and it's a Monday. We need groceries for the week. Yeah, so. and I'm gonna do a little bit of apartment tidying because we have an inspection tomorrow. <laughs> oh, oh my god, we do. Anyway, we're, we're gonna, gonna part do, ways for we're a little do bit. some groceries, get back so we can cook dinner. Okay, so the apartment isn't actually like that bad. It's just I've got to pack away like these lighting. Our kitchen also needs to be cleaned, so. Guys, so I've just arrived at the grocery store. I'm gonna go in there now. I'm filming on my phone because still yet to get a second camera. And Ashley's got the camera. Um, I don't know if anyone else does this as well, but I like to listen to podcasts while I'm grocery shopping. I just find it so like practical and you're not really doing anything while you're grocery shopping, so like might as well listen to a podcast or something. Yeah, I've got my bags. Let's go. We've been using a lot of new Nutra Organics products lately and as you know we use like their hot chocolate powder and thing and their matcha powder Yeah, so I've been loving like all their collagen powders as well that I chuck in my breakfast and I have this by itself because it's like flavored I'm not even joking. I take collagen like every day Like I find it one of the best supplements I take that gives me results So this is just a basic collagen powder that I'm gonna take and it's fruity floral and berry flavor and it's so so good Last night, I was craving cold icy water and we had no cold water in the fridge or ice. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait till Olivia gets back with the groceries and then probably make dinner. Almond milk. I like the vanilla one. All right, so we're starting to make dinner now and I'm gonna have turkey steaks with some pumpkin and sweet potato and also some broccoli and cauliflower rice. I'm gonna make it and then show you. Olivia's doing her own thing over I here. I am, don't have to go ah. I am having like a bolognese kind of thing but with prawns and zucchini noodles. So it's not really bolognese, it's like past zucchini <laughs> noodle yeah. pasta with prawns, with homemade sauce, with Italian herbs and diced Italian tomatoes. So I'm going to put my pumpkin and sweet potato in the oven for maybe like 20 minutes and I'll come back when I start cooking the rest of my dinner. So this is my dinner. I've got my dinner in a bowl. I'm just gonna add some salt. And I'm also gonna add some of this vegan cashew parmesan. It's just like made out of nutritional yeast and cashews, I think. So good. I'm gonna have a shower while Ashley has her dinner because then she'll wanna jump straight in um, when she's done. All right, so I'm gonna have a shower and I'm not gonna wash my hair, I don't think. Apparently, a lot of people have told me if you're on Rakuten not to wash your hair more than 
like twice a week or something, otherwise it falls out and gets really dried out. So I'm really trying to space out my wash hair days. But in saying that, being on Ractane, my hair like never gets oily anymore, which is amazing. How I like to take my makeup off is grab these little face pads and I normally use my cellar water to take it off first. Um, I normally prefer this one, this one takes my makeup off a lot better. But I do also like this one because it's gentle on my skin while I'm on Ractane. I'll take majority of it off with that and then I'll get a face washer and wash it with warm water while I'm in the shower. And then I'll cleanse, I normally double cleanse if I wear makeup so I make sure it's all off. I'll just use like a gentle cleanser whether it's like QV or Sukun, Sukun or something. And then I'll go in with my normal cleanser which is from DMK. scared me also guys I fully jinxed my skin because I don't know if it's from the sushi or what it's so bad it's either from the sushi or the rack my potato is nearly done and then I'm about to cook some turkey steaks and then I've got my cauliflower and broccoli rice that I need to heat up in the microwave so this is my dinner guys, the camera's about to die, but I've just got the rice, the potato and pumpkin and turkey steaks and I've just drizzled barbecue sauce all over it. It's a very voluminous meal, but yeah, it's just like really, really good. I'm going to get you my dinner and get back with you guys after. So I just hopped out of the shower and put a little face mask on. I won't have it on for long though. But I wanted to quickly show you guys something I bought online like a few days ago. I get my hair done like not that often. It maintains itself like pretty well, but sometimes it does go a bit like yellowy toned or like grassy looking. So I just like to freshen up the color with like a gloss or a tone every now and then. This is not sponsored by the way. So I had a look online the other night and I found like an at home, kind of like an at home tone or an at home gloss treatment that you can do. So I haven't actually tried it yet, but I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm gonna have a shower now take all this makeup off because it's been on all day my skin's been pretty good lately though I haven't had too many breakouts I've got this one on the chin honestly my biggest problem is I have the worst habit like the worst habit I actually it's such a bad trait that I have like when I see the tiniest little blackhead or something like I will literally dig in my face until I get it out and it's so bad because I end up with like the most nasty scars every time I go to my facial my facial lady gets angry at me because she's like what have you done and I'm like I know it's so bad so, I need to stop doing it like but um so many of you guys always ask me on Instagram where I get my lashes done and I go to lashes by Ali she's honestly so incredible she's up in North Sydney and put a quick face mask on. I'll show you guys the face mask I use. This is the DMK Accu Mask and DMK is the brand that I use for all of my skincare and yeah, this face mask is really good because you can't really overuse it either. Like I usually try and do it a few nights a week but even so, it's not one that you can overdo. Like it doesn't dry your skin out or anything. It's just like really good for like inflammation. So I'm gonna leave that on for like 20 minutes to half an hour and then I'll wash it off. So I just washed my face mask off and finished my skincare routine. So yeah, for my skincare, I use DMK, which I showed you guys before. But my hair's like really gross at the moment and cause like I was saying, I'm gonna wash it tomorrow morning. I'm just gonna put it in braids because when I wake up really early for the gym, it's just like super convenient having it in braids. I'm really on the grind to try and make my hair like really healthy again and like grow it longer and just like thicker. Because I've just been doing so much bleaching over the past few years, I'm really trying to bleach it a lot less. Oh, please. I haven't bleached it in ages, Olivia. It's so good, it's like every month. That's toning. It's not bleaching it. Bleaching it's a whole other thing. If I go get it bleached, the only parts I get bleached are like the little front bits. So putting it in braids honestly is probably not a good contribution to this new journey I'm on, but... I'm 
It's like quarter to nine. <laughs> I'm probably gonna go make my breakfast for tomorrow morning and then make a little bit of my dessert, which is usually strawberries and hot chocolate. Okay guys, so this time I, I usually like to make my breakfast for tomorrow morning because as you guys, if you have watched previous videos, I have overnight oats for breakfast and it's my favorite. So I have to make it the night before, which I can show you guys. 40 grams of oats, tablespoon of chia seeds, cacao powder. Lately, I've been using the Blessed protein powder or Tropica chocolate protein powder, but we don't have either of them left. So I'm gonna have to resort to the White Wolf one, which we used to use ages ago. I don't remember the last time I used this protein. My collagen powder. Sometimes I'll add some glutamine to it as well. And then I just mix it all together and add my almond milk and... So that's my overnight oats and then I just tuck that in the fridge for tomorrow morning. All right, I'm also gonna start making my dessert now, which is my hot chocolate and strawberries. Wow, these strawberries are humongous. So guys, I'm in bed and yeah, I kind of just like use this time to like unwind and chill. Sometimes I'll actually like do emails, which is probably not something I'd recommend. Probably not the best thing to switch off. If some, yeah, a lot of the time I just don't get time to do it during the day, so I'll do some at night. Especially because we're filming this on a Monday, so like maybe I'll like look at what I have on during the week or like plan out the week, plan out my day tomorrow. I'm also currently reading a book. This is a really, really good one. It's called Find Your Light and it's about like healing and like finding your path, I guess. I don't know. It's really good though. Yeah, or I'll watch YouTube. Just go on my phone. Alright guys, so I just grabbed my dessert. Usually I don't come in here and sit in bed with Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> But I thought I would just while well, I quickly talk to you guys. So I just got my hot chocolate and my strawberry. But yeah, around this time, while I have my dessert, I usually will just like sit in bed and go on my phone and kind of just like... <sighs> are you right? Kind of just like have some me time, I guess, and like just like try and switch off work mode and just, just like checking social media, just kind of enjoying yeah. my night before I go to bed. But yeah, that's usually what I do. Yeah, it's kind of just like getting ready to start the day again. <laughs> Wake up early, go to the gym. Yeah, I'm so over my routine. Like, I'm such a routine person, but like, since Corona, I'm like, so over. It's really pretty back. Yeah. <coughs> All, right. All right, see ya. I'm gonna hop in my bed. What time are you waking up to go to the gym? Well, I don't know. I really want to like semi fake tan my whole body by the time. Okay, well, that didn't answer my question. <laughs>